Yeah, and I, I love this the whole idea of the the reframing and say especially reframing stress and using that in a positive way. Because say you're going uh, for a job interview or, or about to give a big presentation, you know, I, I would say most of us feel quite stressed out, and I think that's partly due to the enormity of the. You know, if if it goes well, then you either have a new job or you uh, have got a new client. And I think almost at that point, if you recognize that stress in a positive way and try and reframe it. And I think you've talked about this in your book. Um, would you like to sort of expand on that, David? Yeah, I mean, you know, this is another kind of example of the expectation effect that I personally found really useful. Um, and, you know, like, I, I feel in our culture, there's this assumption that all stress is bad and all anxiety is bad. And that, um, you know, you're told by your parents and your teachers and, you know, in uh, the media that actually to perform well you should try to be cool and calm and collected um but actually if you're feeling anxious just consciously trying to suppress the feeling isn't really possible and the research shows that actually it rebounds um you actually feel worse because you know the more you fail to do it the, you kind of creates this uh spiral of panic um so a much better way of dealing with stress and anxiety is to start asking yourself like why did we evolve to have the uh stress response like why if i'm in front of a group of people did i evolve to start having that racing heart and you know why do my limbs feel a bit shaky and the answer is that actually these are just all signs of physiological changes that were meant to improve performance um you know your heart is racing because it's pumping lots of oxygenated blood around the body and especially to your brain so you can it's powering your thinking and those hormones that might make you feel like kind of jangly um you know cortisol actually at kind of reasonable levels um in the short term is all it's doing is helping you to feel more alert and i don't think anyone wants to go into an interview or an exam or you know give a speech where they're feeling you know, like so kind of zoned out and peaceful that they're not really, you know, paying attention to the audience. Um, so this is, you know, this these are the benefits of anxiety and stress in the short term. Um, and what the researchers have found is that actually just educating people about that can it can help to improve their performance in whatever they're doing. So, you know, whether it's an important sports match or an interview or, you know, a negotiation, public speaking, you know, all of these things in the exam, it can actually help the performance. They're using the um, stress or the, the anxiety as a resource. Um, but also, I think what's equally important is it seems to change the way that people respond after the stressful event. And if you have been working yourself up into that kind of um well, down through that negative spiral, thinking that your your stress and your anxiety is damaging, then it takes you a lot longer to recover from that um, stressful event afterwards. So your body is still on this kind of physiological high alert. You know, your heart is still struggling to pump the um, blood around your body. Like you're still kind of waiting for like some kind of danger to to come out and and you know threaten you. Um, but if you saw that stress as being you know more useful, more adaptive. Um, even if you acknowledge that, you know, it wasn't especially pleasant to go through it. But if you saw that your anxiety was at least had some kind of benefit, that actually helps your body to return to, to its normal kind of relaxed state much more quickly. And so that is what will then help you to um, avoid some of the long term effects of stress. If you're going through kind of daily or weekly stressful activities, but you're recovering more quickly so you can make the most of your downtime, that protects you from things like burnout and you know, according to one study, it could even protect you against the uh, heightened risk of cardiovascular disease. Um, so it's really powerful. But again, it's all about, you know, doing these um, kind of mindset exercises, you know, time after time and just like uh, enjoying the incremental benefits.